Hi, I'm not gonna bore you with a long intro. I'm just gonna ask you, how are you doing? Write it down in the comment section right below this video and we'll get a conversation started. This is what I'm looking at. I not only have all of these clothes to wash, I also have my hair to wash. I haven't combed it, not even washed. I haven't combed it for a week. I wonder if this is four kilo, cause this is all the blacks that I have. And I only want to wash two loads. These colored clothes, also a very simple wash. And hopefully, I can be done with washing clothes tonight. I'll be done around 11. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm going to wash the black clothes. I'm going to put the next pile inside of the washer, hang the black clothes, and then tomorrow, I can wash the colored clothes so much more realistic it's the moment of truth it can be more than four kilo it's more than it just won't start the wash so yes okay we're good to go of course i don't have to stare at the washing machine i'm gonna wash my hair and everything we do all of the good things and then figure out what I want to eat tonight. This is another thing that I still need to do. I need to put all of these things back in the basement. I'm back to bother you the whole time. Not sure if he loves it. I think he does. Who else is going to bother you? Who else? I'm the only one, right? Right? Tell me. <laughs> he's so cute anyway i have to put these things back in the basement and then there in that corner i wrapped the glass with um mirror paper but i forgot to peel off the bag and now it's really creasing it's not a disaster but it looks horrible so i'm gonna fix that tomorrow morning not now i'm losing daylight everybody it's getting dark also, my son didn't water the plants. I didn't ask him to. And because it was raining where we were, I thought it was also raining here, but it was hella dry. And all of my, my plants are just asking, begging for water. So I'm gonna fix that. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow morning, right now. I'm going to take a shower, wash my hair, scrub my body, and then do whatever needs to be done or not because it's seven o'clock and I have to work in the morning. By the way, these are all of the tags that I pulled from the clothes that I got in my thrifting adventure. So tomorrow or the day after when everything is dried and clean, I'm going to show you all of the crazy, crazy stuff that I got. My first coffee after camping, it's always a treat. I don't know if you can tell, but it's still pretty dark outside. It's 7.18. I'm still in my robe. I'm working from home. I'm supposed to go to the office, but I really can't. My nose is all stuffed and I'm, I feel so tired after a week of camping unbelievable you lay there on that mattress in your tent and you think this is heaven i feel so free i feel so relaxed and then you come home and you realize that your bed actually is a lot softer and you sleep a lot better in your bed the only thing you were missing was the freedom and the surroundings you know nature and everything so i gotta work on that Bring more nature in my home and more freedom, feeling less lived. If I do all that, I can be happy going on luxury vacations instead of camping. No, I think I'm always going to camp. I think. Maybe not in the same setting, but I'm gonna continue camping. My coffee is so strong. I've been drinking those um, 
little packages of coffee every day. And that's not as strong as my home coffee. Okay, let's start up the computer because I'm pretty sure I need to reset my passwords and stuff like that. It's been too long. I was supposed to go to the office today, but I did not go to the office. It was a good decision because the meeting that I have on Thursdays got canceled. I did do a lot today, even though I was tired <laughs> and I'm still tired. I'm going to cook something very easy. I think I'm gonna make pasta and then I'm going to take a bath. That's my plan. I washed the second load of clothes, but it's not dry yet. So I think tomorrow when everything is dry, I'm going to do a haul of everything that I thrifted. Oh my God, my lips are so crusty. On this new series, something about the devil and the bastard son, something like that. It's a, it's a teenager series. It's supposed to be horror, but it's more like, it's not really horror. What is it? It's like teenage love affair, drama, not really scary. It's British. It's entertaining. Let's just leave it at that. I had episode six. I have not seen the father, but he's supposed to be really scary. And maybe he's a devil, maybe he's not. So I wanna find out. And that's what I'm going to do today. So it's a lot and I'll probably forget half because I don't put freaking things on the calendar. And I have no clue what I'm doing. I make all of these plans, but I don't write it down. I also have to file for an exam online. That's something that I really need to do, but I need my planner filled in because if I apply for an exam and I have something different that day, I'm going to be so mad because I'm going to lose my money. And I really, really want that exam done this year. So first my planner, then the exam. But before that, I'm going to cook We'll see how the day goes. Seriously, everywhere I look, there are tiny little things that I need to be doing and I get distracted. I need to put away the camping stuff that I just left here. I need to cook. I still need to redo that piece of window and that's the kitchen stuff. These are the clothes that need to dry and I have another load that's drying in this cabinet and I need to clear out that table. I also want to take everything out of that little uh, greenhouse. It's a tiny greenhouse, but I have uh, supplies to plant inside of it and I wanna wash it and then put the candy inside of it. That would be a lot cuter and it would make more sense. I'm just going to start with cooking and while I'm cooking, I'm going to clean the, the corner here and then I'm going to make a start with the tables. Sounds like a plan. Watch your heart pass me by. 
So I already told you that I'm trying to buy more sustainable clothes, which means uh, no more fast fashion, H&M, Zara, things like that, and a lot more linen, cotton, silk, wool, fabrics like that, not too many synthetic clothes. This disclaimer, I'm not going to only buy sustainable clothes, it's going to be a mixture of things that I really like and want and sustainable clothes. My whole wardrobe is going to be a mixture of all of these things. Last time we went camping, we also went to some thrift stores and I got a bunch of things. So I'm going to do a haul. Bear with me. I have the receipts, but I took off the labels because I wanted to wash everything as fast as possible. Most things were around 4 euros. This one 
is 100% Spandex and I'm going to insert the brands in the, the original price. It's a um, compression top. It's really, really tight. It fits me perfectly. So I am going to wear this a lot. This was a great buy and this one was, I think, 150. This was the cheapest thing that I got. Same price for this one. It has no label anymore. So I don't know where it's from. It's just a regular short and I'm going to wear this at night. It has a great length and the fabric is really great. It's not real silk, but I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this. Third thing I got was this skirt. This skirt was, I think, 450 and it's from a brand, The Sequel. I don't know if you can see it. It's from Brent the sequel and it's a pretty short skirt but it's really cute it's going to be great in summer it's going to be great in winter with tights underneath it and it has multiple layers the skirt is actually made out of cotton lots of layers so this is really 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 a great buy next up is this skirt um, all this skirt is from a brand called Selected Fam. Never heard of it, but it, it feels like silk or satin. Cupro and Viscosa. So it's not silk or satin, but it really has the feeling of it. And it's like, uh, the model is like the cigarette pants, the cigarette skirts. Really high-waisted with loops for your belt. I can wear this wherever I want to. It's multifunctional. Don't have a lot of skirts, so that's really a good buy. Next up is this. This is also not a natural material. Let's see what it's made of. This one is 100% polyester, but this dress was only 250. And it has a waterfall neckline. I don't have any dresses with a neckline like this. It's green. I don't have a lot of green clothes. And also the, the print is really pretty. So I just bought it. Next up is this dress from Vanilla Elements. And this is 100% wool. It has this just beautiful neckline. It's very... It has a very old-fashioned feel to it, very classic, the cut. And this dress is just perfectly made. It's not too long. It has pockets. The, the material, as I said, is wool, so it's very great quality. This is a dress, and it's fully lined on the inside. This is a dress you can just keep for the rest of your life. It has a very long zipper, so it's very easy to put on and definitely going to wear this a lot. It's 650, but I'm not really sure it could also be 450. Of course, we also went to a couple of other stores. So this one I got from Zara. It's actually two tops in one. It's stitched together here. So I'm thinking about losing it up because Putting it on was kind of a um, disaster, so everything gets tangled up, but it's pretty. It's well, typical Zara. This one is also polyester, 100%. This was in sale, 5 euros. Next up is something that I also thrifted. This one is from Seven Sisters. This is so classic, really, really, truly beautiful. And I'm going to wear this a lot. This is exactly the kind of shirt that I want to wear underneath a blazer or a vest, especially in the winter. It's warm, but not too warm. As you can see, it's fully see-through, but it's not extremely thin. Next up is a very basic polo shirt, but I love the color. It's kind of lilac, but really light lilac. It has no labels. I don't even know what brand it is, but it's made out of cotton, so that's a real pro. Um, this is just perfect. With jeans, underneath anything, 
this is just perfect and i normally i don't like polo shirts because of the hassle with the the color when you iron it and everything but i'm going to make an exception for this one because of the cut and the, the very cute buttons and the color this one was thrifted for 450. this dress i got from tk max tk max however you want to call it it's so thin but it's 100 cotton and this is an absolute summer dress this i can even wear it as a cover-up when i'm at the beach because it's that thin it's not restricted at all it's very wide and then it has these great layers i love this dress and also the color i've been wearing a lot of red but this is more orangey with stripes i don't have anything like this so i'm really glad i found this one and this one was 10 euros at tk max and this dress, this dress was from Karen Miller. To tell you the truth, it, the brand caught my eye. I mean, Karen Miller is a very established brand. And the dress, when I looked at it, it's just gorgeous. It's so perfectly made. It has a very long zipper, which means you can really put it on really easy. It's fully lined. I mean, even the, see, the zipper has the brand name it's so perfectly stitched it's really 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 beautiful this one was a little more expensive but considering the fact that it's a karen miller dress this one was 17.50 and last this dress this dress is just gorgeous it goes on forever it's very long and the back has this you know see-through panel with embroideries and there's a lot going on with the dress it's just beautiful it's also a summer dress it's really thin it has lining but even the lining is really thin and this one was 10 euros it's from save the queen so that was my haul that was everything i got when it comes to clothes i also got this cute little very cute little face i'm putting my um pencils and stuff in it i also got a picture frame and thrifted picture frames are really the best to go because they they look just so much better than the ikea picture frames really um you know the ikea picture frames there's nothing wrong with it but they're so um static so clean cut and thrifted picture frames especially the ones with the beautiful cut out wood things i love that a lot better frames and i found two while we were thrifting this weekend this little tray from wood i'm not really sure what to do with it but i got it because it's wood i love natural materials and that's all that i got i mean it was a great city to thrift in because some cities, like main cities, big cities, usually have a lot of Zara and uh, H&M, just really fast fashion brands within their collection. And I mean, I'm not going to thrift something for five euros when it's made out of polyester from H&M and you could just buy it in sale, brand new at the H&M store itself. So. I'm trying to avoid going thrifting in bigger cities. I definitely want to go thrifting more and take my time to look at all of the things, find classic pieces made out of natural materials. And I, as I said it earlier, I have a list of stores that I want to go through who have like sustainable fashion, like really great pieces, but brand new kind of expensive so i'm really really going to take my time to go through these stores and find the stores that have pieces that i really love that are sustainable that are not too crazy expensive with that being said that's a new journey for me it's going to take time and i'm definitely going to 
not rush it and build my wardrobe slowly with a lot of love and a lot of fun thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next vlog bye when transits going all to different places different planets watch your aura pass me by losing bad hands what if we